I don't know about you, but we've been feeling pretty lonely with all of this social distancing happening. So we reached out to some of our friends and fellow content creators to help us with today's video. Roll that logo. Welcome back, family travelers. We're so happy you're here. Today is kind of a fun, special little episode. We asked some of our fellow content creators some questions about their social distancing. Hey, family on standby. It's Jimmy and Amanda from Chubby Noe here. Thank you guys for inviting us to do this. This is really pretty fun. I have the questions here on my phone, so we're just gonna dive in. Question number one, what do you do slash content you make? Well, said Trevi in a way, we're actually uh, travel vloggers. We're only a, only plus size travel vloggers on YouTube, right right now anyway. Uh, yes. <laughs> we travel around the world and show you how to travel and the things we get into and just, yeah. We're travel just vloggers, all yeah. the things. This is uh, Nick. And Danny. And we uh, are from the In Love With Movies podcast. Where we talk about movies and love. My name is Paul and this little gentleman right here is named JK and together we have a channel called Tastes Soul Good. Obviously he's the looks, I'm just editing, but uh, really he's in charge of the whole thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to the questions. First up, what kind of content do I make? So I am an American. I'm currently based in Seoul, South Korea, where I've been living for the past decade, actually. So my YouTube channel started about two years ago. It's focused on travel, but mostly about food. I love exploring different food cultures. And I would say that most of my channel is based in Korea and Korean food. Hey there fellow travelers, I'm Mark Walters. I run the Walters World Travel Channel and we focus on honest travel advice, so the do's and don'ts when you go to different places and fun culture shocks you'll have when you're there. Hi, uh, my name's Lee. I have a blog called myfavoritelens.com where I uh, take old cameras like this one and I uh, shoot film in it. And then I uh, vlog about the results that I get and share the knowledge that I learn so other people can uh, do the same if they want to. Hi, my name is Lauren and this is... Julie Murray. And we're from Unofficial Bucket List family. What content do you make? So mostly travel, because um, my wife, as you can tell, she has an accent. She's from New Zealand. We do most of our traveling to New Zealand. We try to go once a year with our daughter. So the next question we asked was, do you have any goals or any projects that you're working on during the social distancing time? Everyone's always talking about, I'm gonna learn how to knit. I'm gonna learn French. I'm gonna learn how to cook pastries. I mean, for us, it's mostly just keeping the house together and making sure the kids <laughs> come out of this normal. Yeah. We've been really working on our photography because- That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's fun. The other thing we've been doing is a lot of house projects. And when I'm not busy on those, I've been trying to make the perfect omelet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Always on a quest to get the perfect omelet. You have to have like one thing you really want to perfect. For a lot of people, I know it's been bread. Bread is all over social media. For us, it's omelets. I've had this under my bed for the last 10 years, maybe eight years or something. I've never, never learned anything to do anything with it. So, I thought it was a good chance to do that. So, if it's your birthday, this is for you. So that's one thing I've learned in the last, um, well yesterday, I'll be honest, I learned that yesterday. A while ago I made this, this uh, from my photos. It's got some of my old photos in. These are shot in um, Shanghai, China. So in terms of any goals I had during the quarantine, I think the, the real goal was like, I want everybody to be healthy and safe. And we've so far, all our friends and family have been okay. Um, that's been really a blessing in itself. Um, I think 
in terms of like people are like, oh, I want to learn a language. I want to do this. Uh, one thing I like to do during the, the second half, because we have another month on, on uh, shelter in place here where we live, um, making our website better, getting everything working better, filming all the videos for another class I'm going to be teaching online so I can kind of get those things done to really like make it a better experience when people go online on our websites and watch our videos. So that's what we're really trying to do. So my goals are to finishing all this editing of all this travel we've done. I'm like two years behind, so. I've know. been getting inspired to do gardening Oh outside, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you did that. Yeah. All right, so here is the thing, guys. I am in a really unique situation where South Korea, I haven't really been home. Um, we kind of got hit by the coronavirus pretty early, um, back in like February. And it hit pretty hard, but the government luckily was able to contain it. And life is pretty much as normal as it's always been here. Yeah, this is a loaded one. Listen, <laughs> so I am jealous of everybody else's quarantine that are getting to read books and watch movies and be lazy. Oh, no, no. We're remodeling a house. And uh, I got laid off because of COVID, and so now <laughs> we became full-time contractors, and we've been remodeling so, this house ever since. Last when you say new skills, six weeks, six weeks we've been doing this. I now know how to remove wallpaper. I now know how to mud a wall to cover up holes and gashes. What else? I know how texture. to sand things. I know how to texture. Mm -hmm. I know how to paint. I know how to do everything needed to do to remodel a home. It's construction zone in Chevy Away World. Mm -hmm. That's what we're learning. That's what we're doing. We're tired and we hurt, if we're being totally honest with y'all. I have a goal to finish my dissertation. That's a good goal. While That's we're a good goal. On that, that'd be a good thing. I also have been making progress on uh, the Duolingo uh, Spanish learning podcast. How about you, Daniel? Cool. I made some um, yarn cats. Oh, that's right. I made some puffball cat things. Yeah, those were cute. I helped um, out with like a couple, but not very good. Yeah, and I've been drinking wine. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a goal. Oh, and I've been Zumbaing a heck of a lot. I've been doing that like four times a week. So that's fun. Yeah, a goal is to gain less than 20 pounds. That's also another goal of mine. Yeah, that's a good goal. Yeah, okay. Next question. Kind of similar to the previous question, what are we doing to pass the time? Because you can't spend all of your time focusing on you know your goals and, and learning new things. So for us, it's just been getting on the floor and playing with the kids. To pass our time while we've been home, the boys have been doing homeschooling, so we've been working with that. I'm actually teaching classes for my day job, so I've been busy doing lots and lots of live feeds. For our travel channel, we've been doing two live feeds a week uh, on Wednesdays and Saturdays, having a really great time meeting new people that way and, and really kind of like building up the community and things like that. And then we're actually putting out, was it two or three? Three videos a week on that. And then I have another channel that's on marketing, which I use for my students, and those I've been putting out five or six videos a week plus the live classes so it's been it's been pretty busy here uh, during the quarantine um, so we've had some time together played some basketball outside and stuff like that so it's been kind of fun in terms of you know as fun as it can be being locked up at home I don't uh, know about you but I find I have less time than yeah. before uh, um, with our little one she seems to demand more attention because we're oh, not yeah, going true. out yeah. and about doing her local yeah. you know, activities or going to the park. Well, as we mentioned, we already work a lot still. So like, we are very blessed to, to still have to do our jobs uh, like on a sort of normal basis and things have gotten busier with quarantine. So I spent a lot of my time doing that. How about you? I stare at a screen for a very long time. Too much. Um, uh, how else do I pass the time at home? I pet my cat. Video games. I drink, did I say wine? Wine. <laughs> <laughs> we are working like dogs right so now. Sore. We're so uh, sore and tired. One thing we've we grown to love while we were living in Asia for a whole year is we love the cheap reflexology foot massages that you get there. And uh, even here, in, well, we're happy to, happy to pay the price here in the US. It's like 30 bucks for an hour. All closed because of the virus. And so now, now we're forced to... We're forced, to, forced just to hurt, and I've or been. Or she'd rub my feet once in a while, rub her shoulders. Yeah, but it's I've been going the to the same. chiropractor because this like weird thing now because we've been doing so much like motion. Anyway, so and I'm also craving an Asian market. So the way I pass the time at home is we've been working, but when we're actually at home, I've been designing and looking at stuff and trying to work on the new office and dreaming of recipes to make when I go back to an Asian market. We have content. We just have pretty content out because it's all related to travel. 
And, and nobody's watching it right now. Church. So hopefully people are watching this video. <laughs> Don't forget to like uh, down below and subscribe to these guys because they're awesome. They're amazing. Yeah. So yes. that being said, if you're already in this part of the, of the program, go down below and do all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, take the dog out for a walk, a long walk, which I also don't do at home. So how do I pass the time at home? Pretty much making content for the blog, really. I've got a lot of photos that I took in Shanghai that I've not written up. I've not done blog posts about, so I've, 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 I can spend my time doing that, really, while I'm locked down. What is your go-to quarantine dish or meal? Pizza. Chocolate. Uh, starting Monday, I'm gonna try green juice. Oh, I thought we were gonna ask another question, huh? The green S juice. Stay tuned for that. Power on you. I'm not stuck in quarantine, but when I am in a quarantine kind of self-imposed, I wouldn't say I necessarily have a meal. I definitely have a beverage of choice. <sighs> Can't go wrong with beer. No. No. <laughs> Does McDonald's count? <laughs> Got a little grocery store, a little Tesco down down the road. So just normal English, you know, English food like tomato soup, uh, baked beans. Put them on toast, very nice. And of course, because I'm English, chicken curry. Guys, I'm ashamed to say I think it's pizza because. <laughs> We have been so working tired. so hard, and we are so tired. We really haven't been cooking. That are chicken wings. We air fryer chicken wings, guys, mm -hmm. is good, and that's what we've been doing a whole lot of. But really, it's shameful. We've been ordering in. Yeah, we we like to, we love so to cook. Tired. We love, we to, love cook. to cook. Just wait. Just We're gonna no be energy. cooking videos coming soon. Mm -hmm. We have a kitchen in the new office. Um, I know my go-to snack during the quarantine has been the Reese's peanut butter eggs. Unfortunately, now that Easter is gone, you can't find them anymore. But luckily, I bought eight packs right after Easter to kind of stock up to hopefully get us till June. Uh, so we can hope for on that one. So that's my uh, my kind of snack thing there. I have mine. Oh, you already have yours? Oh, yeah. Mine is ramen. So when this all started, we knew that we were going to be stuck inside for a long time. So we got ingredients that we could keep on hand and we knew it would be fine. So we got a ton of beef tenderloin and a bunch of ramen noodles and a bunch of broth. It's mm -hmm. all you need to make a great ramen. We've been eating a lot of raisin toast and that's because I, I don't know why, for whatever reason, I've just been hungry for raisin toast. And I think it also has to do with, we never eat breakfast, us too. Yeah. We make it for the kids every morning before they go to their daycare, but we never eat breakfast. So I've, I really want to play up the whole breakfast thing and just do it while we have the time. That's aside from my world famous breakfast quesadillas, which- Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what show or movie are you watching right now? Ooh, that's a good one. Chris Cuomo? <laughs> yeah. We went through Ozark. We do watch a lot of Below Deck. People probably were done with Survivor after like season 10. We're on, what's what season? 40. 40, and we're still rocking with it. We're still going. And how can we forget about the ever classic one that's always on? Which one? Doc McStuffins. Okay, so as this whole thing has happened, uh, definitely getting wanderlust. Like I want to go out and travel, and I don't know the next time that I'll be able to is, as well as you know everybody in the world, we don't know what's happening. So I have been watching a lot more travel series, but I do that all the time. I would say that these days I've really been interested in watching uh, street food videos from India. The other thing I've been watching, guys, the best part of this whole situation is I discovered a show. You guys probably know about it. I just learned about it. 90 Day Fiance. Can I just tell you how obsessed I am with this show? Ed and Rose, he goes to the Philippines and like tells her to shave her legs and oh. And then there's that Soja Boy from Nigeria and Baby Love and she buys the mom a goat. <laughs> well, okay, so get on the list. So first and foremost, everyone's talking about Tiger King. Uh, we actually live mere minutes from Joe Exotic's zoo. Uh, Listen, which, I am not a proud Oklahoman right now. I was born in Oklahoma. This is not a good representation of my people. It's just, anyway. So we actually have a video here pretty soon about that. About uh, the new one, the new Tiger King Zoo. We also it. we also been watching Acorn. 
uh, which is like a British like oh the uh, Indian television. doctor yeah, t- TV shows. So we like we like those like the British TV shows from the BBC and mm-hmm. Channel Four and all those places. A lot of sh- shows uh, in BBC or UK. They're all murder mysteries. It's all murder yeah. mysteries. Everyone's killing everybody in England. I don't know yeah. what that's about. Friends is always a good one, you guys. That's my favorite show of all time. I would watch Friends all day, every day, if this one would allow me. So that's always a good go-to. They're not on Netflix anymore, though. Shameful. Uh, the show or movie you're watching right now. Justified. We're watching Justified together. Justified. What are you watching alone? Uh, Besides Pulp. <laughs> this is a family book. <laughs> Sorry. What am I watching alone? I've been making my way through Star Trek Next Generation. Making my way through Star Trek. And I've been watching a lot of RuPaul, literally everything. So I ran out of current RuPaul. So I don't know if you noticed this last night when you came in. I went back to season one RuPaul. <laughs> All the RuPaul. And then there's a new show called We're Here, which is like Queer Eye for drag queens. Yeah, and that was kind of cool. That's a good one too. So yeah. anything with drag queens is what I've been doing. So my family and I, we've been watching Lego Masters. So that's been really good. We still have to see the last one. So we have that one on Hulu to watch. So we have that to look forward to. Uh, my wife's been watching Father Brown with our youngest and my oldest has been watching random TikTok videos. So, you know, we're all finding our ways to kind of get through things. Um, I know for, for me, it's just basically watching a lot of history and science and travel YouTube videos and just trying to support my friends in those areas. So that's what I've been watching at least. I was living in China for a long time, hence the photos from Shanghai. So I never watched TV while I was there. And since I've been back here for the last couple of months, I've not started. I will I will mention one though, one actual TV show. We just got on the just last weekend, the first episode of a new BBC wildlife show called Primates that was on. It's a three part series. The first one was really good and made me laugh. Here on a few occasions, which I've maybe shouldn't have done as a you know, I'm nearly 40, so laughing at monkeys on telly, maybe a bit old for that, but it, it was a really good show. I recommend that. That'd be nice. That, that would be nice. Yeah, I would love to watch uh, what's that, um, Chernobyl? That would be a cool thing to watch on HBO, but we don't have time with that, Alan. All right, the last question is my favorite question because it gives us something to look forward to. Where is the next place you're planning on traveling to when this all gets back to semi-normal? Ooh, I got a list. We have a list, my long. If everything opens up end of June, that's literally right after my birthday. So I think we may try to take a cruise just to it go. Because it's really cheap. We're also travel agents, and so we can easily go. Um, Europe is major on our list. We want to go. We also have um, plans to go to the UAE, Dubai, end of the year. Uh, for a huge conference there. We're trying not to get our hopes up and plan specific places because we just don't know when this is over. We're just trying to stay optimistic and hope that that things will open up sooner rather than later and we can all get back on an airplane and feel much more in our element and a lot better because this home stuff is just not cutting it for me. It's for the birds. Thank you guys so much for inviting us to participate. Hope we helped you mm-hmm. and we'll see you soon. See you guys. Honestly, we'll be going to see the grandparents, see my parents and my wife's parents and stuff like that to see them and spend time with them because they haven't seen the grandparents or the kids haven't seen the grandparents for a couple months now. And you know what? I like to see my mom and dad too. So I think that's the first place we're going to go. Um, after that, I think we'll be, we'll be traveling a lot more domestically around until things open up again internationally. Then we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm glad everyone's been staying home. We have flattened the curve. Things are going better. So let's just keep at it. And uh, hopefully we'll all be traveling again soon pretty much to the pub <laughs> i would say to the pub with my mum and dad and my brothers and my girlfriend and just a bit of a like i said i'm i'm english like we we go to the pub you know i'd like to get i'd like to get myself into a city you know once it's over and i can travel a bit more get myself out into a city and take my camera and do some more photography i hope you took something from this and i hope you listen as carefully to all the other um, contributors, contributors, as I'm sure you have to me. Thank you. You know, I kind of want to go home. I'd kind of like to visit my friends and family back in the States. It's been a while since I'd done that. I was thinking about doing it this past winter, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because uh, I would have gotten stuck. This summer, things aren't going to happen, so... Um, if I can't go back to the States, I would love to go to like Vietnam or Boracay or Bali, uh, somewhere in the Philippines, Palawan or Boracay, something like that. Just something with a beach and a place I could just relax and kind of take my mind off of everything. 
So I think that's what we all need. So hopefully the travel industry is going to pick up again soon and we're all gonna get out there and enjoy life because goodness, I think we all need it, right? I hope everybody out there who's watching this, stay safe, take care of yourself, wash your hands, wear masks, guys. They really do help. And yeah, I would love to see you on my channel if you're interested in Korean food culture or other things. Definitely come check out my YouTube channel or my blog. Thank you for watching and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Stay safe. Bye. New Wally Zealand! Wally World. Yeah, no, we, we definitely are going to go back to New Zealand. We actually, the thing is we weren't planning to travel at all because somebody's expecting in a few months. So um, we yeah, we weren't only we we're planning to travel next year sometime. So we're gonna just bunker down here, and then the venture starts again with another baby. So much to look forward to. Literally, just anywhere outside. Like I just I just want to be able to walk down the street and not be in fear. Basically, like I will be happy when that I can do that. That's fair. I think uh, Target is one of my favorite places. Um, but they're still getting a lot of my money. Do you mean Target? Target. Um, I really also want to go to an improv show and a yoga class. Those are like my things. Yeah, I miss And I miss shows. them a lot. Um, and nice. then after that, Mexico, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, going like actual places. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere warm. I, I know we were just there, but I kind of already want to go back to California because it was nice. Hopped on the plane at LAX with the dream in my car again. Drink wine, people. Um, and with that, I love you, Nick. Oh, I love you, Danielle. We love you, Stan Leon fan. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and especially thanks to the uh, awesome people that answered our questions. We know that uh, it definitely takes time away from their blogs and travel channels and such. And so we're very grateful. We're going to link to all of their contact information down below. So make sure you go and give them a follow and, and a subscribe if you can. We, uh, it's a very interesting time right now. I mean, certainly, at least for us, traffic's pretty way down and people don't even want to think about travel and kind of what some would call frivolous things. But yeah, to us, it's super important. So we want to make sure that we're supporting everybody. So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe. And until then, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.